Clear morning, it's frame 17. Ronnie, 30 points in arrears here. Ken Doherty and John Virgo on the early shift. No, missed it. Foul. The miss. And if this nest was behind the brown, could Stevens. be a free ball. Oh, nearly. <laughs> Matthew was hoping <laughs> that it just stopped short. Yeah, no point in having it replaced. Matthew with his hand on the table. I think he could play a lot better safety shot than that. It's amazing, all the reds now are in that other half of the table. It's so thick. What? The cue ball was going nowhere. Fortunately, a red found the pocket. Now let's see how this one went in. All one off the cushion, one in the middle of the table. The white nearly stopped it going in. I don't think you knew much about that. say it's difficult when a ball's in the Six. jaw of the pocket to judge where the cue ball's going to go, but he'll be quite pleased with that. There's a red over the corner, but he might not even play directly onto that. Well, he can't, but it's easy to hit the red to the right of it and knock that one in. And if he plays it right, that red should stay over the pocket. Seven. We eulogise, and quite rightly so, about Ronnie O'Sullivan's Q action and uh, the amount of pace he can get into the ball without hardly seeming to hit it. If there's one person in the game that is not far behind him, and that's Matthew Stevens. Yeah, dead right, John. I mean, even that Gray and how well he, how easy he struck it and so much like action he got on the cue ball. Green again. Well, let me see just how easy he hits this, but just have a look at the cue ball. 16. The action he gets on it. At the moment, all you've got to do is play back up for the blue, but once again, you see his cue power. 17. But this time, wrong side of the blue, so a good shot needed. There's the red in the middle of the table, which looks to be the obvious red to play on, but he's got to avoid the bought colours here. This looks good.
Very well played. 22. 56 point lead, still 83 remaining, so that really equates to he needs another three reds and colours here. Twenty-three. Well, might be another example here. Depends what sort of angle he's got on the green. Just looking to see if that if he can get on that red just below the black. Is this bottom and follow through? <coughs> he's found a gap. Mm. The red just below the back black will go to the right middle, so he can carry on here. Still going to need one more red and a colour to clinch the frame. This green will put him 64 points in front with 67 remaining. He's got a perfect angle, hasn't he? Just one cushion anywhere. The bottom of that line would be perfect. Looks pretty good. 30. 64 ahead. Just this red now. Well played, Matthew Stevens. 31. Yeah, I always think the colour because that stops your opponent coming to the table. We've seen a few frames that two snookers required during the championship. Oh, and it's careless now. Will Ronnie Matthew concede? Stevens. 31. Thinking about it. He needs two snookers. Frame conceded, Frank. We well, didn't like the situation, didn't like the way the balls are laid out for snookers, so he concedes. So Matthew Stevens, he needed a good start. Okay, lucky to get his second chance, but he'd be pleased with the outcome. He now trails still by five frames, 11 6. Yeah, 